Hello, hello. Happy February 28th to 8. This is called The Day of Zest. And if you were born on this day, I wish you an amazing birthday and an amazing year to come. So today we're going to be getting into The Secret Language of Birthdays, your complete personology guide for each day of the year by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers. Link is in the description if you'd like to purchase this book. So let's learn a bit about this day. What sort of energy was coming in on this day? <clears throat> Month February, day 28. Your sign is 8 to 10 degrees Pisces. You're a Pisces 1 sun sign, and you are a mutable water sign. Those born on February 28 have a tremendous zest for life, which they communicate to everyone who meets them. These positive, energetic individuals are able to brighten up most occasions with their vibrant personality. Yet, on the other hand, they have a propensity for heading off in entirely the wrong direction, full steam ahead. To make them aware of this is almost impossible when they are caught up in their own enthusiasm. They can be at once assured and positive, dynamic, effective, or destructive, depending on the circumstances. Obviously, those born on this day would do well to sit down and contemplate their direction in life, get to know themselves better, and be more deliberate and purposeful in their actions. Because their energies tend to be diffused and dispersed, and since they can so easily get carried away with new endeavors, February 28 people may adopt an unrealistic attitude toward the world, which causes those near and dear to them a great deal of worry. Part of the problem is that some February 28 people may like having others worry to, may like having others worry about them and may even engage in dangerous or uncertain activities precisely to get that attention. For those born on this day, it is the actual excitement of events, the sensations that arise both in themselves and in others that keep them feeling vital and alive. However, they must learn to be highly discriminating in their choice of endeavors and involvements, taking on challenges that are not only risky, but also worthwhile and rewarding, not just in the short term, but over a lifetime. Because they choose to live in such a vital and uncompromising way, February 28 people are likely to experience far more of life than the average person. Most born on this day wouldn't have it any other way. Excuse me. On the other hand, uninhibited enthusiasm can lead to carelessness or thoughtlessness, which stands in the way of their serious development. Also, as they mature, February 28 people may find that the negative after effects of their activities begin to outweigh the fun or stimulation. Those born on this day need to imbue their zest for life with understanding. Through both intensely positive and negative encounters, they may eventually come to develop a personal philosophy and deepen their spiritual understanding of life. The question is at what point experience will at last translate into wisdom? For some born on this day, such an evolution takes place quite late in life. For others, not at all. Indeed, it is incumbent on February 28 people to at some point stand removed from life's passing show and observe themselves and others and others living. Interesting. All right, so numbers and planets. Those born on the 28th of the month are ruled by the number one, two plus eight equaling 10, one plus zero equaling one, and by the sun. Those ruled by the number one generally like to be first in what they do. They are typically individual, highly opinionated, and eager to rise to the top. The sun symbolizes strong creative energy and fire, which is best kept flowing steadily rather than allowed to sporadically flare out of control. The combination of the sun and Neptune, ruler of Pisces, can make February 28 people overly romantic and sensationalistic. In tarot, the first card of the major arcana is the magician, who symbolizes intellect, communication, information, as well as magic. Over his head is an infinity symbol, which in some tarot decks takes the form of a hat, in others a halo. Many interpretations may be drawn, one of which is that the magician recognizes the cyclical and unending nature of life and is empowered by this understanding. 
The positive traits suggested by this first card include diplomatic skill and shrewdness, but negatively, lack of scruples and opportunism. Opportunism. This card warns February 28 people against getting carried away with the world of illusion, picking the wrong friends, and using their energies for immoral purposes. In health, those born on February 28 may not have a great awareness of their body and how it works. An objective medical authority with whom they may have regular checkups and health discussions is highly beneficial. February 28 people must be particularly careful of chronic conditions affecting their lymphatics, venous return, and blood pooling in their lower extremities with advanced age, leading to variscosities. A regular exercise schedule involving swimming, jogging, and or yoga is a good combination of thoughtful body work which suits them. Those born on this day usually like both to cook and eat, so they do not need much encouragement in this respect. Advice. Cultivate your contemplative side and confront the important questions of your existence. Don't get carried away with thrills and sensation. That which makes you feel alive must adapt to the aging process. Juicy. All right, so meditation for this day. The object of one's enthusiasm is at least as important as the enthusiasm itself. Ooh, that's great. So um, if you were born in this day, your strengths could be that you are vibrant, alive, and emotionally complex. Your weaknesses could be that you are over-enthusiastic, excessive, or thoughtless. All right, those born on this day. Mario Andretti only auto racer to win Indy 500, Daytona 500, and Formula One World Championship. Linus Pauling, Nobel Prize winning chemist, molecular structure, Nobel Peace Prize winner, vitamin C advocate, who wrote How to Live Longer and Feel Better. Vincent Minnelli, a film director of Meet Me in St. Louis, and also an American in Paris, married Judy Garland, father of Liza, Benjamin Bugsy Seagal, Siegel, S-I-E-G-E-L, a gangster, built Flamingo Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. He was murdered. Michel de Montiagni, a French 16th century essayist, a uh, septic, no, skeptic, <laughs> and a magistrate. Tommy Toon, a Broadway dancer, choreographer, and actor. Bernadette Peters, a stage and film actress. Frank Gehry, G-E-H-R-Y, an architect. Ben Hecht, a journalist, playwright, film director, screenwriter, and novelist of Broken Necks. Zero Mostel, Mostel, a comic film and stage actor. Charles Blondin, a French tightrope walker crossed Niagara Falls on stilts. Whoa! Brian Jones, a guitarist of the Rolling Stones, swimming pool drug death. Ernest Renan, Renan, a French historian who wrote Life of Jesus. Willie Bobo, a jazz percussionist. Sir John Tenniel, a British cartoonist, illustrator of Alice in Wonderland. Geraldine Farrer, F-A-R-R-A-R, -R -R, an opera singer. Stephen Spender, a British poet and critic. Christopher Kraft, NASA Space Center director. Or it says NASA Space Center director. Gustave Toeni, an Italian alpine skier, four-time World Cup champion, Olympic giant slalom gold medalist. Dean Smith a basketball coach who took North Carolina to 12 ACC titles, U.S. Olympic team to gold medal. Whoa, uh, I love that. All these, all these people who have come before, some of them still here now. So um, if you're interested, the Daily Oracle will be linked down below as well. And um Let's end out with this meditation again. They're always so good. The object of one's enthusiasm is at least as important as the enthusiasm itself.
All right, y'alls. Thanks for spending time with me and I will see you uh, next time. Mwah! Take care of yourselves.